Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise here on MLB The Show 18. We're going to start this episode off with this four-game set against the division-leading Chicago Cubs. Of course, they're only a half a game ahead of us. Let's see how we do. Now that they're a full game ahead of us after winning that one. Um, Wilson's trying to close us out. We need to get a rally going, so let's see. Ryan Schimpf going to put this one to right center field off the wall. And that one going to be a double setting up second and third. And nice, a fly ball. This could be a tag up situation. And they're going to send the runner. Runner trying to come home. They're going relay, bringing it in, and it is safe. So we do tie the ball game. Now it is Russell Martin up at the plate, and that is going to be a double play. So we continue into extra innings. We get the out there, the final out of the top of the 11th. Now in the bottom of the 11th, it is Josh Bell lining this one into left center field. That's going to start us off with a base hit here in the bottom of the 11th. Now Gregory Polanco, and he's going to pull this one down the right field line, and that is going to get Bell over to third. He is in there. We got runners on the corners, no outs. And there is Ryan Schimpf, and he is going to get the base hit that is going to lead to the winning run scored by Josh Bell. As you can see, Polanco player of the game, two for four with a single and a double on the game. And we do take a 3-2 win right there. EJ Moeller suffering an injury. He'll be out for just a couple days, not a big deal. We win a, we get a split with the Cubs. Moving on to the Giants series. We lose game number one. And now we're going to try and walk it off here at home. In the bottom of the ninth, it is Swain. And he is going to hit a double. And that should bring in the runner for the win. Zachary Swain, our young catcher, getting the job done there. And he's player of the game. He had had a home run earlier in the game. So, huge game for him. Pretty much most of the offense coming from him. And we move on. We only won that game, however, that Swain got us. But we get through the month of April. So, now looking ahead to the month of May, you can see the Indians are doing fantastic. And the Curve are not doing that well. Not as well as we thought that they would. We get swept in three games against the Brewers. We win one out of three against the Phillies. So now Major League, the Pirates, not doing that fantastic as we drop two out of three to the Royals as well. Not a team you want to drop two out of three to. So now we are looking ahead to the Mets series here as we are dealing with a lot of injuries, especially at Altoona. They are 20 and 20 right now. And the Pirates sitting at 20 and 22. And we're taking on the Mets here. And that one going to be a win 6 to 5. We win 9 to 1 against them. So we take 2 out of 3 against them. We take 2 out of 3 against the Cardinals, even after losing the first game of that set. So that's very good. Um,. Altoona would play Akron. I believe there are there is a subscriber recruit there, but they're not starting him. So we are not going to really take a big look into that. Uh, we win 10 nothing in the first game of a two-game set against the Twins, and now tied in the bottom of the 10th. And that one going to be a single. They're going to try to bring the runner home. No, they're not. He is going to hold up. So we got corners with one out. And this time they try to bring the runner home on a wild pitch. But it bounces back to the pitcher. And he's able to tag the runner out. So we got a guy on second base. And there is Nelson Cruz going to line that one into center. That will be an out. We continue with the game. Mitch Keller is pitching here in extra innings top of the 12th he gets a strikeout there then he gets the ground out to deep second base the shift was on and we are up at bat and there he is again zachary swain the young catcher getting the job done as he puts the ball over the wall for the win here at home 
in walk-off fashion. Mitch Keller gets the win. He pitched two innings of relief in extras. Now, the Trenton Thunder have Marley Bowman, and I meant to play that we are going to manage this game and take a look and see uh, how Marley Bowman and company will do against the Altuna, Altuna Curve. But I believe maybe they took him out at some point, either just before the game or otherwise, because I did not see Marley Bowman. I don't see them in their Trent, in that Trenton lineup. So something happened there um, as we're going through this game. But we'll check it out anyways. See how the Trenton Thunder do against this Altoona Curve team that has been semi-underwhelming so far this season. Uh, so far, 2-1 to one now. Trenton has come back from a 1-0 deficit. And then a three-run bomb for Ornelas is going to give us the lead back 4-2. to two. And now they're trying to tag up JoJo Romero. We're going to bring in Willie Hobart. See how Willie Hobart can do against this team. He is shutting them down until he gives up a double. But he does get out of the inning there. So we get nothing after a single. Willie Hobart now starting to give up some stuff. He walks the bases loaded there, so we're going to bring in somebody else. Let's go with Lucero. He'll go with the four-out save if we can get it for him. So there he is, and he does get it. We do beat the Thunder 4-2. to two. Uh, The other games I was looking to see here if I see Marley Bowman in the lineup, and I never did. So we just went ahead and sim through. If Marley Bowman played, it was in a pinch hit situation. But we do get by the Trenton Thunder here through this series with a sweep, a four-game sweep of the Thunder. So looking back at um, what the Pittsburgh Pirates were doing, they dropped two out of three to the Dodgers and won the first game of a three-game set against the Reds. And now it's another situation that needs walk-off help. And against the Reds, that's something we're going to try out here. They're trying to walk us off. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the out right there to get out of the ninth. So we move into the top of the tenth inning. And Bell up, and he is going to line one into right center field. That's going to get him a, a double as he slides in safe in second base. Then, of course, Polanco coming up, and he is going to line this one to the shortstop. They actually go after Bell and pick him at third base. So he is going to end up safe at first, and then a dribbler is going to result in a fielder's choice and now here we are and that's another ground out so they are able to get out of any trouble that maybe we wanted to cause there felipe rivero still in the game here in the bottom of the tenth he hits a batter there then he hits a batter here with two outs so two on two out and a three two count and this one lined into center field would be caught by Brett Gardner, who would come up to bat pretty immediately here. And he would line one into right field for a base hit and then steal second base. So that's cool. We really needed that to happen. Then a strikeout of Russell Martin is then going to bring in a pinch hitter. Who are we going to bring in? None other than the star of this video so far, Zachary Swain. Let's bring in Zachary Swain, see what he can do here with a man on second base. He is going to hit one deep out there to center field. That is going to be a fly ball and a tag up situation. And Gardner going to get in there at third base. So now next batter up is going to hit it, and that is into left field. And Gardner with the score. Nice two-out single gets the score. Now a 4-3 game, and we bring in, in Mitch Keller to get the save. That's right, Mitch Keller's been in the pen. Uh, we got him starting in, uh, he is up in the major leagues for good now. But we're going to start him off relieving in the pen as he's more of our sixth starter right now. Um, as we've had some guys come back from injury, 
Heaney's been pitching well. Eight innings, scoreless with six strikeouts. And Keller able to close that one out for us, get us a win there. So we take two out of three against the Reds. So the next video will start us off against the Marlins. Right now we're only three and a half back of the division. What do you guys think of the team so far? What do you guys expect of this team? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, support the series. See you guys.